This edition of Mac Voices is brought to you by Transporter, the solution to your cloud storage needs. Transporter provides you with a private cloud that you control, but that can be shared with anyone and accessed on any of your iDevices. One of the great things about Transporter is the cost. You know what you're going to pay when you buy and know that you will have no monthly fees at any time. Share as much data as you like with as many people as you like at a known fixed cost. Your files are online and in the cloud quickly and easily. Just copy what you want to share, photos, documents, whatever, to your transporter, and they are immediately available to your iDevices or to anyone you choose to share them with. Get 10% off your transporter by visiting filetransporter.com MV and use the code MACVOICES. The transporter is available from all your favorite retailers, but you only get the 10% off if you buy from the website. Thanks to Transporter for sponsoring this edition of Mac Voices. Hi, I'm Chuck Joyner, and this is Mac Voices at Macworld iWorld 2013 in San Francisco. We just stepped out of the press room and ran into Nancy Gravely of the Mac Observer. Nancy, it's great to see you. It is always great to see you, Chuck. It's one of the highlights of Macworld. It's, it's a highlight of Macworld to see you, too. I'm, I'm always pleased that you're back again and roaming the floor and looking for cool stuff. I am. It's one of my jobs, and it's so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> How'd you get a job like this? Well, never mind. We won't get into no, that. Let, let's yeah. don't. Yeah. Let's stop. Nancy, for the, for, the, for the viewers who may not know you, um, what is your primary beat for the Mac Observer? I am a columnist. I've written a column for 14 years called Computing with Bifocals, and it's aimed at those of us who did not grow up with computers and who sometimes find computers intimidating, and it's my job to make them less intimidating and more fun. And you do a great job. You're the, you're, you approach it in a very unintimidating fashion, and that's great. I don't care what audience you're, you're targeting. Well... That's the joy of what I do is to, particularly when I do it live, to see those, those eyes light up and like, oh, yeah, because once you learn it, nobody can take it away from you. And if I can also do that as part of the Mac Observer, that is just icing on the cake for me um, because everybody should be able to know how to do it and to be able to start at step one because if you can't start at step one, you might as well just turn it off. Agreed. Agreed. So what have you found uh, cool and interesting on the show floor? Because I know you've been down there walking around a lot. I have. I have indeed. Um, three things that have really hit me so far. And as a matter of fact, all three of these things that I would really like to talk about have all just been in the last hour selected as winners of the Mac Observer Editor Choice Awards, which is a big deal. Um, that means that they meet not only our criteria of being brand new, unique, and um, of interest to the general Mac user world. Uh, so we take this very seriously, and all the staff members who are here have to go and look at these products and evaluate them, and then we argue about it. <laughs> well, as any good Mac user should, should do. Sure. Um, and then we, we, uh, we went, started with 70, and we ended up with um, about 10. And I happened to have uh, three that were really fascinating to me. And so if I can, I'd like to share those with you. Go for it. I, I, I really appreciate the fact that you're sharing this and we'll make sure that we don't break embargo. <laughs> That's good because somebody might slap me upside the head. <laughs> um, the first one, the thing that fascinated me the most before I even got here is, is this little thing right here, which is called um, iPrint Server. This is how big it is. It's about the size, uh, a little bit bigger, a little bit longer than a pack of cigarettes. And what this does is let you have um, a network in your house. And one of the things that I had to learn, being somebody who did not grow up with computers, is that network no longer means a big office with a whole bunch of computers run by an iTech person connected so that you can sit in your office, you know, on the second floor and print on the first floor or, or however they set those things up. Network now means that you have a computer, an iPad, an iPhone, whatever you have. And with this, you can print from any of those to your little printer sitting over in the corner. The coolest thing about this is that you plug it in and you're ready to go. 
And the company, the company president who, uh, the company that devised this, would not put it out on the market until his mother could plug it in and make it work without asking any questions. <laughs> and <laughs> the mother test, I like the that. The mother test, yes. The mother test is a very good test, as a matter of fact. Um, it sells for, uh, th this is the home version, it sells for $99. It's, of course, it, there's a sale for, the, um, for Macworld, but if you're going to just order it, it's $99. It's called X-Print Server. There's a business version as well. But for those of us who would love to be able to print directly from our iPad or our iPhone or our iPad mini or whatever, this is a fantastic product. So that's the first one. Okay, that's one. The, sec <laughs> the second one is on my back, and I love this product. It, it looks like an ordinary case for, for carrying around your iPad. It's like, eh, so it's another new case, whatever. This case turns into a holder so that you can type on your iPad while you're standing up. So. I've got it here. I'm going to switch it around. And if you'll notice, there's four grommets here. So if I'm going to use it the right way to type, I'm going to undo one. They can do this a lot faster. People, young people can. And I've got it here. And then I'm going to flip this around like this. And of course, Connect to the internet. Yeah, we know that. Okay. I've got it upside down right now because because I do. But I now can type. I can now hold this here, balance it, and I can start typing. I can go, you know, if I'm like monitoring, writing stuff up at a sports event or whatever that it is that I instantly need to be able to enter stuff, it's right here. And then when I'm through, I just close it back up. And this is by a company called uh, Stroker, S-T-R-O-K-E-R. Brand new company, brand new product. Um, there's another version of this that is a messenger case. This one is, um, there's, this leather version is $99. There is a imitation leather for $55. And then there is a really nice messenger case that's a lot bigger. You can carry everything. It's like a backpack only. It's a messenger case. And it's $159. I think this is a fabulous product. So I'm through with it. I'm gonna do this. As soon as I can see what I'm doing. I don't have my glasses on, okay? <laughs> Young people can do this. All right, there you go. and it's there, and I'm ready to go on to the next thing until I need to type again. It's called, uh, this is called the, um, um, I don't remember what it's called. But if you go to their website, which is strotter.com, you can find them. Um, they're here at Macworld if you happen to be able to see them. But I think this is a brilliant product. Uh, it was designed by one person, um, so it's got lots of love and care and meticulous design into it. The third one that I think is equally wonderful is an app, and it's called Clean My Mac. And it's probably in its third or fourth generation. Uh, I've used this since it first came out, but what it does is get rid of all the garbage on your Mac. And you just turn it on, you choose what you want it to do, what you want it to look at, um, and it looks at it, and then it'll clean all that stuff off. The first time I used it, it gave me an, di an additional 70 gigabytes on my, on my Mac. The thing that I like about it the most is that all, a lot of people have problems when their preference files go bad. And you may or you may not know how to deal with that. But your, your app stopped, I mean, your, yeah, your application stopped working. Since I started using Clean My Mac once a month, I have not had a single problem with that. And that alone makes it worthwhile um, because it's a pain. And I've learned how to go in and find those things, although in Mountain Lion it's very difficult to get to your preference files now. But I've learned how to do that because God gave me children who know how to fix this kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but with Clean My Mac, I don't have to. I don't have to because it finds it, it gets rid of that stuff, it gets rid of the, the, the trash that's in your photo files, it gets rid of trash that's everywhere that you don't even know is there. 
and you just keep going. And it's a very inexpensive app, and I'm sorry I don't remember how much it is. It's very inexpensive. Um, and they're continuing to grow. They're continuing to add new products. So it's a very viable company. But personally, I highly recommend it. So those are my three favorites, and they're all winning uh, Mac Observer Editor Choice Awards. Those are three pretty good favorites, and, and I've only talked to one of them so far, and that's Clean My Mac. And it does look like a very nice, simple product, or it can go deep if you want to and know how to. So. Yes. Very nice, very yes. nice. Nancy, where can folks find more about uh, about you and your writings? Oh, uh, please visit the Mac Observer uh, at macobserver.com. Uh, I also review products, um, which is also a lot of fun, but my primary column, Computing with Bifocals. I also have a blog uh, that I write for beginners, and I can, the advantage to the blog is I can say whatever I want to. <laughs> <laughs> no editorial control no, at all. No editorial control. I recently did a um, did one about how irritating it is when you order something on the internet and they you're typing along and suddenly you get to the state where you live and you have to stop typing and pull down that menu to pick out your state because they think you're not smart enough to know how to to um, put in TX for Texas. Mm -hmm. It drives me crazy. But you know, I can't do that on the Mac Observer. So I have a blog, and it's part of my vanity website, which is uh, nancycg.com. Easy to find, nancycg.com. So that's where you can find me. Great. We're going to end this interview a little bit different, folks. Usually at this point, I'll say I'm Chuck Joyner, Mac World, I World 2013, and all that. You know that. Nancy and I have this little thing. Every time we see each other, we give each other a hug. So <laughs> that's the way we're going to end it. Nancy, it's great to see you. Yeah, it's good to see you, too. <laughs> Oh, thanks a lot for the it. time. Uh, my pleasure. <laughs> Always my pleasure. <laughs> thanks, folks. We'll see you next time. Mac Voices TV is part of the Mac Voices Group at macvoicesgroup.com. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com.